both of you. He need the first. He need to be the first one to die. Come on, right, dude, come on, chill. Bye, chill, dude. Oh! Uh. Everybody back now, now, now! No! <laughs>Hey guys, it is Kiki J here. Welcome and or welcome back to the channel. Y'all, we're jumping straight in today. If you saw my last video, we played the quarry, the demo, but the full game is here now. Y'all wanted to see it, so I'm here to deliver. Okay, so I've downloaded the full game. We're gonna get into that now. If you hadn't checked out the demo, y'all, it was wild, okay? It was wild. So we're gonna jump straight into the gameplay. I'm looking forward to this, so let's go ahead and get to it. Hmm. All right, we back in the query. Y'all turn your volume up. <laughs> oh, do I do continue or new game? I don't know, y'all. Hold it. I guess continue. Shoot. Oh, we're doing single player. So we were playing as Laura. Are you sure you want to load this save? No. So we already did the prologue. Oh, wait. Yes, continue. Oh, so we got drunk last time. Do y'all remember that? It's showing it. <gasps> so we chose to save Max. Because, like, why would we leave him, right? But Max was getting on my nerves, though. I'm not going to lie, but he didn't deserve it. Y'all, I'm thinking my guy is... Well, he's not my guy, but I'm thinking he's uh, Mr. Hackett. <laughs> How foul is that? Like, bro. Does this look like the Harbinger? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. To you. Does look at this mouth. look like... The goddamn Harbinger Motel to you! Yeah. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to bleed this part back out again, y'all, because I can't get copywritten. Mmm, but we jumping straight in. Like, y'all, so y'all, what are y'all thinking? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's Mr. Hackett. Unless he got he in cahoots with Mr. Hackett, I don't know. It's probably like a whole thing going on that we don't know about. Are we going into the next piece? Y'all, that that was wild though. I hope we're getting straight in. Maybe I was supposed to press new game. I don't know, but I'm hype. I'll tell you that. <gasps> we jumping straight in. Oh my gosh. Not these skulls. They gave me the chills. I, ooh, Hello, who were you? Friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends. Aren't are we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think mm, of okay. me as your guide okay. into the unknown. It's I feel exciting. a little bit better. Yes. And terrifying. Mm -hmm. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. Okay. We can help each other. I'm going to hold you to it. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. Okay. So you done said Such it twice. Harder. Only you can find them. 
There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. Okay. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make, make you stronger. stronger. Look, I don't forgot her name. Did she say her name? Oh my gosh, I'm trash. I am so bad with names. Oh. Chapter one. Hack is quarry forever. The music sounding cheerful, so I'm thinking things are about to get off good. But like, dang, man. Max and Laura, though, like, bro, where they at? Are we going to see them again? Are they dead? Like, did the police officer shoot the thing or did he shoot Max? Like, I don't I don't know. We didn't see a body. So I don't know, y'all. But this this is looking sus. Ladies. Hack is Corey love. summer camp entrance. This is August 22nd. <gasps> oh, that's tomorrow. Oh my god. I saw Brenda. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer? I camp? love Brenda's that's song, y'all. <gasps> Wait, I wasn't listening. Let's do reflective. That's what I want to do. Hmm. I mean, you never know. Let me the be universe quiet. has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> She looked just like Brenda. Okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <gasps> oh. So is this before or after the prologue? Y'all, I'm not looking at the dates. Like, I am so bad. I am so bad. This gotta be before. Is this it? I gotta pay attention. <clears throat> hey, what do you, uh, what do you listen to? Good to know. Like, bro, you know you didn't hear what he said. So, how are we doing at the door? We can't do nothing with it. I need to know what happened to Laura and Max. It's going gonna, it's gonna to reveal itself later on. Oh, can I run? Okay, I got a little pep in the step. A little pep. Oh, hold it. I think that's the same thing that we saw with Don't Kill You, Make You Stronger. Yep. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Look, but they saying it often in here, so it, it means something. But y'all, I don't remember what the beginning of the prologue said. What date was it? If y'all remember, let me know. Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. I haven't seen him before. Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, it's please. Good. Bro. That ain't Dylan Sprouse, is it? I gotta look at the cast. Why they can't let me in?
Can't go there. Put the pet back in your step, sir. He's still kind of chilling. Oh. Can't see that. Okay. The camp plaque was established way back in 1953 and is still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Bloody collar. We got that. The bloody collar looks too big for a dog. What kind of dog? We know that wasn't a dog. Oh, okay. Why is the window unlocked? Y'all know I do not play with unlocked doors and unlocked windows, like... Oh, skill. <sighs> what kind of skill was it? Oh! I thought that meant close the window. Oh, skill. Goodbye. Get back in. Y'all, apologies. So we just know that's what that means. Okay, so I'm assuming after we open the door, we cannot close it. We would just walk back out. <laughs> Ugh, horror. <gasps> yes, I, I love horror. horror. We cannot be friends then. I love horror. What's over here? Oh, can't really do nothing there. Y'all. <laughs> I'm not about to be the one walking into doorways. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool area. This is the mess hall. The cafeteria. Yeah. Now y'all could have cleaned that up. I guess I'm just about to be talking to folks. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and idea? two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, it wasn't. right. Is that, is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? No, nah, i got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! They keep raccoons out. First of all, why are they in here? That didn't make no sense to me. So Mr. Hackett is also called Mr. H. If I find out Mr. Hackett is this cop, like I said, if he ain't the cop, he in cahoots with him. This place needs a serious overhaul. It does. Oh, Ooh, hello. Jesus. Honey, we need to get away from it. I saw a door. Can I open that? Nope. Um, it's dark down there, so we ain't gonna do that yet. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Well, I don't like Dylan. So my name is Jacob. Okay, I remember I told y'all I'm bad with names. Y'all, I guess we gotta go down that hallway. I don't even remember home dude name over here. What was your name? We ain't got no signs up with their name. Oh, do I need to go down here? Honey. <gasps> Can't see. Oh, I guess it ain't nothing down there for us. That's why.
The music is relaxing. I can come in it though, but I can't go it. I can Bah. What is this? Why are they not in here cleaning up? Oh, what's this? Look, look. Like right, this? Why are we blocking stairways? <laughs> so we leaving. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Emma? Well, let's be playful. Oh, Defensive okay, shows guilt. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you... Totally have a thing for Ryan. Uh-oh. Are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <sighs> Let's do mischievous. Oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <sighs> Dang. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay, her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah blah blah. My whole thing is like, you know. Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? <laughs> yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Man, let's just cut this short. Defeat it. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling. Like something's going on. Excuse I'm me? just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? <laughs> Encouraging or confident. How am I supposed to know how this conversation is going to go? <clears throat> confident. Because we're confident. That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No. No, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. There you oh, go again. I killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd... Probably break the fuel line, or I don't know. Jake, rip out the rotor. Why arm? are you asking yes, it? That would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. Why you are know, you? It's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Jake. Guess we'll just have to find out. He's sounding sus. 
What? Why do you... Jake. Why are we doing this? Break the fuel arm? Fuel line? Steal the motor arm? Oh, I... I... If I steal it, that means they can catch it later. Which will incriminate me then because there's evidence. But if I break the fuel line, like... There's no evidence. No one saw me do it. You know? But I didn't want to do either of those things. Wow, this looks important. Jake! What are you doing? I literally could not... I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. See? I don't like Jake. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Da -da -da -da. Go long. Oh, dick. Ooh. Boom. Oh. oh. We're not is. having another Ooh, last time. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. Mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, no, that's not Dylan Sprouse. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing. No. Take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you Brenda, know, short. Should really, just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. <laughs> oh, Ben. Now look, he already seen you psychotic. <laughs> we gonna be friendly. Look at him looking psychotic. We're going to be friendly about it. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. Why is he so offended? You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. I don't like that. I literally had to choose. My option would have been to not do anything to the van. Fix it so we can get out. <laughs> but I had to break the line or steal the thing. Like, come on, man. Either way is bad. Okay, this is Abigail at 530. On the 22nd, 530. Oh, I like Abby outfit. Oh, and her hey, tag. Bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Boom. Oh. oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. What? Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Take the lock. Key, shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. We breaking in, baby. I need my stuff. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? We work here. Is a bear or something? Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. Don't break the window. One. Two. Three. Mm. Oh, yeah, oh, we got to we got to get our stuff. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Emma oh, is proud of you. God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. So this is Emma. All right. Well, and Abigail. I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right, Abby. Take a look around. Girl, I'm loving the fit. Look like something I wear. 
can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy, loose springs. Well, next year. Why would this place be in the news? Street show goes up in flames. Well, let's take a look at it, shall we? Oh, I probably should have did it while I was there. I mean, or uh, Abby, you gonna close the door? Make it look like you didn't just break in? Oh, this is a cool little setup. Where am I supposed to go? Not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Huh? What? Yo, I didn't see it. It was something in the window. It had to be. Well, let's get away. I'm assuming we are leaving. Hmm. Okay, got the pool over there. This is a cool little camp. I don't think I can go in here. No, I don't see nothing. Honey. Oh, there she go. Emma, wait up. But yeah, this is cute. This is cozy. I've never been to a camp like this, though. Ready to roll? Like, out in the wild. Uncertain? Yes. Let's go. Finally. I'm not sure, like, for what? Let's go. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> It's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. So, Abby like a Nick. And clearly Emma and Jacob. Oh! <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. I ain't got time for no more accidents. Okay, so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. Mm-mm. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Four yeah, states? Sure. That flight but ticket. That's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the package they gave Email? Email? Are you 93? Right. So I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. No. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Mm-mm. If we go the scenic route, something gonna happen. But if we go back to the lodge, I feel like we're gonna miss something. Oh! 
Oh. Oh, what should we do, y'all? Why are my headphones? Here, I'm taking a risk. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> oh, Abby, how about you made a decision? Okay. Oh, but that if I go back to the... If I go the scenic route, it's like, okay, I'm giving in the peer pressure. And I ain't with that. But I really feel like missing something outweighs that. Oh! Sure. What's the victory? Two months. No technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Your who needs you? We gonna say, I believe you, supportive. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. <laughs> the whole Look, oh, no, I'm really okay. Oh, you love me. <laughs> yeah, you always want to be supportive of your friend. The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Uh-oh. Should we See? tell someone? Mm, it... Looks pretty contained. It's Emma. probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. But speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone. Right. Get back. If I knew that, I would've went straight there. All <clears throat> Who was that? All right, we with Dylan. It's six oh one. About Hello, thirty Jacob, minutes later. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So, oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Is this uh, Dylan's browser? Yeah. I don't know. He kind of look like him. He kind of don't. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Yeah, why are we lollygagging? Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not... Jake. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Y'all yeah, being... I don't know. Cool. This is awkward. Nudge? Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Uh, yeah, they like each other. Uh, Why did she... Th Abby. Abby. <laughs> what was that? You could have handed him that bag. It's clear that they both like each other. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Protective? Let's be protective. Oh, I don't know, because Ryan do seem a little shy. Like, I do want to protect him. 
But mind your own business. Brenda Song, she got a strong personality right now. So I don't want to go the protective route because then she going to start coming for Dylan. So let's go friendly. I think that lightens it up a little bit. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my oh. god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. Oh, no, Ryan's laughing. Paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. <sighs> the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Brenda, stop quarry. being like that, God. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Like, girl, this your is personality. A campfire story for the kids. It's um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods. Ooh. For her lost baby boy. There are like reports of. So that's who we saw. Hers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Mm -mm. Or kill you, or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast. Why would I make it up? Cool story, bro. Defensive. Better than yours. Supportive, you should have seen the kids. I'm gonna be supportive. I'm all about support, guys. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> I like Ryan. Be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. And Dylan. Do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Who yeah, is it? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Ah, do Put we? Those butts in gear. Well, man. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. <laughs> Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost right. stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Understanding, no worries. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Look at Ryan looking out. But why, why I can't get a charge from you, Mr. H? Like he didn't even give a reason. <laughs> That's weird. So, uh, Chris, okay, it's six like ten. We got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? His name, Chris. No, it's, um, it's just, Chris Hackett. You know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ryan just seems sad. Uh, sorry. Like oh. something's bothering him. Yeah. Ryan... Oh, we, oh, I'm scared to eavesdrop. If we eavesdrop, he might come out. We got to eavesdrop. I'm sorry. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are. In the area. We'll this is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. Ryan, back up from the dough. No, well, at least it's a court. He's gone quiet. 
Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Uh-uh. I'm out. Ryan, get away from the door. Get away, get away, get away! Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like I mean, I heard... Uh, oh my I god, Ryan! What you were, we're cool, champ. Just... Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. Oh my god. Ryan, he had time to hang up the phone. It's corded. Why didn't you move away from the door? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since i'd have to live on campus you know and my mom's not exactly around so i wouldn't want to leave sarah on her own you know fam our family's small enough as it is well family is important right dang it concern ah this is important to me. It is important to me. Like. <sighs> mm, these decisions. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. I could tell. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... He's up on the ghost stories. First of all, don't send him on a trip. I don't think he's wrong for telling ghost stories. That's what, literally what you do at campfires. But I don't want to seem insensitive to the situation either. Boy, these decisions. Oh! We being soft, we, he seems like a very respectable guy, so I'm going to just say apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? That take What's the fun. That? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? No. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Something on the loose. That thing. Inquisitive, why? No, baby, you got to tell me. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. He being evasive. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. <laughs> safety is the first step towards fun. Bye. Where in the good goddamn are they? Goodbye. But I do feel like they dragging their feet on leaving. And then Jacob gonna pull the plug on the brake thing. Why would he do that? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she Look at his do. real picture she's in there. Her whole life ahead of her. Oh, they look real. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office, 
<laughs> right where I left uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. You couldn't leave the door open for me? Yep, yeah, there's something, something on the loose. That's why he's trying to get them out of there, but he didn't Make have to sure say. They're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. Oh! You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective Why and Jacob trying to get in the car Ooh, like he go. know it's going to start? What's the problem? Ugh. <sighs> Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. Jacob is a phony. All right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. He need the first. He need to be the first one to die. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Bye. Chill, dude. Oh. oh. Everybody back. Now, now, now. No. I should have stole the thing. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Yo, I'm not a mechanic. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Oh! Jeez, oh, dude, I was trying to help. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Packet is Let not having it. See, but like, yeah. what if I stole the thing? Then what? You're right. He you're wasn't right. gonna admit to it. What? Yeah, you're right. Oh! Y'all, I don't have my hands on the controller because I feel like I'm watching a movie. Let me keep my hands on the controller. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No <sighs> one. Got it? Okay. Ryan. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I promise. Why would I say seriously? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Like you see people like Jacob, like what he just did. And my tail didn't think, okay, if he kept cranking it, that the whole thing was going to catch on fire. The so, van wouldn't have caught on fire if I took the stole the thing. He uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Look at are him. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside. Dylan. Until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. No. Uh-uh, we've been insistent. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Tell him, Ryan. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R. He's still on his property, though. Just off the clock. Stars have aligned for us, no? 
Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. No! Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in. So I'll you know Abby about to be in. Man. Caitlin? Cause Nick in. I go where my people need me. Yeah! Caitlin! Okay. M. What do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent. Come on, Abby. He was just trying to freak us out. You know? Don't let the peer pressure get you. Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Apprehensive. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Yes. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last No. Night. Yeah. Dude, but he won't even know. I, I promised. Uh, no, 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 dude, dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you. Uh, I don't care. You don't want to disappoint. I don't care. The group getting bored. Come on, somebody gotta give a s. Yeah, well, someone's gotta give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh, I'm doing what Chris told me. No. I'm with Ryan. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Nope. I'm with Ryan. All day. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood, uh, M and I. Y'all are all gonna die. For some supplies. And, uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. You see that? Look, somebody watching. Oh. Oh! Who is that? That might be the man he was on the phone with. Uh-oh, y'all hear that? The devil gonna come when the sun go down. My guy just looked like he just peeled back a whole deer. Why is he covered in blood? Hunting season. Uh-oh. I was hoping you'd come back to me. So she our friend, y'all. She the narrator. Let's see what you found. Empty handed. You need to look around you. What? I thought I, I was looking. Them. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. Okay. I ain't seeing nothing light up. So is it lit up or no? You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Okay. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Cards. Okay. I ain't gonna forget it. Y'all, I came out empty handed. I feel defeated. Okay, y'all, that was chapter one. So we're gonna end it there, actually. Okay, so that's chapter one. Uh, I think we're gonna do it by chapters to break it up evenly into different episodes. So y'all, that's what we have so far. It's getting interesting. Y'all, I'm on Ryan's team. Like, look, he, he seemed freaked out, hack it. 
he did. So he's telling us to stay inside for a reason. Sorry. <laughs> he's telling us to stay inside for a reason. I'm not going to go against that because clearly what we saw in the prologue, the thing is probably still out. You know what I'm saying? Something is out. That's why he wanted us to stay in. So I'm on team Ryan. Ryan seems very nice. I am kind of like him. I see myself in him. And you know, everybody trying to have a good time. But at the same time, I'm not trying to get murdered out here. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't like that they're not listening to him. And then they trying to like blow him off because he's the quiet weird guy like no this man is speaking sense and y'all gonna see it sooner or later so team ryan all day but yes let me know how y'all are enjoying this so far y'all i am into this all the way i'm i'm ready to see where this going y'all like oh and i love the theme the the camp summer camp theme like come on man i'm not a fan of jacob jacob got to be the first one to die in my book because he gotta go so whatever we can do to get him out <laughs> we gonna do it okay <laughs> caitlin she kind of get on my nerves too i was liking dylan but dylan in this little last piece right here i'm not really feeling him no more ryan is my number one abby is my second abigail so we'll see how it goes um but yes be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know how y'all like this in the comments below and stay tuned for part two because it's coming i'll see y'all in the next one bye